I wish you all the best today. Play hard. <coughs> Proud of you. Mr. President. That's the good news. The bad news is you actually have to listen to me speak. <laughs> anyway, have fun out there, Coach. Thank you. Sir, on behalf of the Army Football Team and the United States Military Academy, I'd like to see you. Yeah. 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 President George Bush on hand here in Philadelphia for the 109th edition of Army Navy, and it is Navy once again winning this matchup 34 to nothing. Boomer Esiason, I and Eagle. The Navy dominance continues over yeah. this Army program. Every year they feel like they've closed the gap, but it never shows on the scoreboard. And every year it seems to get worse. And the one thing that I did notice is that the speed that Navy possesses, Army cannot stay yeah. up with. And, and case in point is Shun White. He had an absolutely terrific day. I told you in the pregame that he was going to have to have a big game if Navy was going to go on to win, and certainly he did. That was the second, uh, his first carry of the day. That went for 65 yards and a touchdown. He was running all over the place catching passes. He had a touchdown right there, and you could see he was just the player that was determined to have a big game, especially after last week against Northern Illinois when he only touched it once. And then they had to stop Mooney, and I told you that it was going to be Nate Frazier, the nose tackle, that would have to start it all on defense uh, for Navy. They certainly did that, but for Colin Mooney, a bittersweet ending, I think, because he finally did break the record uh, on his last carry of the day. He did get 54 yards, Ooh. and that's what he needed. To, uh, to hold on to the all-time rushing uh, record for one season for Army. Yep, top the mark, previously held by Mike Mayweather, set back in 1994. Navy, Kaipo Noah Kayako Inada, the quarterback who has been banged up throughout the season. A bit of redemption. Uh, not that the numbers are going to blow you away, but the way he ran this offense, just a smooth operator in that triple option attack. He really knows what he's doing as the leader of this Navy offense. You know, it's kind of the offense talk, took a little bit of heat this year down in Annapolis because they weren't putting up the numbers that they were used to. And one of the reasons for that was the injury that Kaipo had suffered earlier in the year. And today we saw what an experienced senior quarterback can do. He did all the little things that don't show up on the stat sheet. And yesterday and today, he had his best game by far in this series against Army. It's a great way to go out a senior. 34 to nothing, Navy over Army, seventh consecutive victory for the midshipmen over the Black Knights. For Boomer Esiason, this is Ian Eagle. That's the story here in Philadelphia.